in this blindfold simultaneous match alexander alakheim sacrifices all of his pieces except his queen and goes on to win the match by checkmating with the queen and with a pawn actually so this is the uh, vienna game on the board here which was quite a common game in the 19th century so bishop to c4 activate this bishop on this light square diagonals and d6 is played by black activating his light square diagonals and f4 now allowing you to uh, bring out this f pawn here before uh, bringing the knight out so knight comes to c6 here trying to occupy this outpost over here on d5 and knight f3 is played trying to counter it bishop comes into g4 winning this knight and immediately alakheim goes for the castling here knight f6 is played by black and d3 by alakheim here and now black also castles on the king's uh, king side here so h3 now hitting this bishop bishop captures the knight and queen captures the knight back a bishop back and uh, a knight comes to d4 attacking the queen and queen leaves to d1 here bishop to c5 attacking this uh, king threatening a discovered check and maybe capture of one of the pieces so king moves away to h1 here and after that the pawn e pawn captures the f4 pawn allowing this dark square bishop to capture it and developing it in the process as well queen comes to d7 now uh, trying to bring the queen into the game black and bishop goes to g5 attacking the knight threatening to capture the knight and doubling of the pawn and exposing the black king so knight jumps to e8 now and knight to d5 occupying this outpost here for this knight and here comes the first mistake and uh, immediately alakhine is better knight retrieves here to c6 but the best move was to push the pawn here and hit this knight and force it to retrieve queen goes to h5 is played here and Queen h8, king to h8 is played here, taking away any uh, winning or any attacking probabilities on this particular pawn, and also allowing the rook to come into the game and defend the king here. Alakhan plays rook to f6 here, and in uh, in fact, the bishop to d4 was played here, but the best move still was to go for the capture here. If you capture, uh, knight will capture, uh, threatening checkmate here, so knight will have to capture here, and uh, bishop captures back and after that if you do that it will be uh, checkmated like this so the best move uh, was still to be to capture to the bishop move here and after that rook to f1 which is a uh, mistake uh, basically now you could go for the capture of the pawn here because now if you capture uh, the rook will capture back and there is no immediate threat of uh, checkmate because uh, the knight uh, didn't cap uh, capture basically so uh, because of that uh, this move was a mistake here but it becomes possible uh, a good move and alakhine is winning now because uh, he instead of capturing with the pawn his opponent captures with the bishop which allows the rook to capture back and once uh, this knight comes here to e5 here rook goes here to h6 here threatening checkmate in the next two moves so uh, rook is supposed uh, to be captured here and bishop goes to f6 with a check here and um, yeah, also you could also go for the capture of this pawn here and later on do the same move so knight captures the bishop and uh, knight captures back attacking the queen and the queen goes to e7 attacking the uh, knight here so pawn is now captured here and immediately you are threatening checkmate here and the only way to for the game to be continued is for the queen to capture the knight here so after that the queen will be captured back and uh, king will get away to g8 here so bishop will drop back to b3 here and rook comes into the game to e8 trying to bring the rook into the game and prevent the checkmating threat so pawn push to h4 a simple looking uh, silent move is played here and after knight to d7 attacking the queen the queen goes to f5 here and knight to c5 is played here attacking the bishop so uh, regardless he just pushes h5 here and once the knight captures the b3 pawn here uh, queen goes to g5 with a check here so the idea is that once the king moves away here to the only square h8 this pawn is pushed here and despite this rook coming in here and attacking the queen next move will be a check and the rook will be forced to cover the check and will be a checkmate on the board so basically due to that uh, he, he, he resigned uh, as of this position 
uh, as of this position, the, the resignation happens and Alakan wins this uh, blindfold simultaneous match. So, quite a crazy game. Bringing the rook here earlier uh, into the game made all the difference. Messing up the uh, pawn structure on the king side of black and uh, forcing his opponent to make mistakes. And uh, because sometimes in chess, uh, threats are more powerful than uh, real attacks, and sometimes the quantity to threat will. Uh, result in us uh, winning the match because opponent uh, will play the wrong move. So thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more such videos.